point I want to raise here, it has taken me 37 years. When I say me, I mean the organisation. But whenever my father was murdered and a number of other individuals were murdered, the IRA tried to justify it by saying they were connected to loyalist paramilitaries and were out killing innocent Catholics in the area. Men like my father, he didn't even carry his personal weapon when he was off duty. That's the sort of man he was. Seamus Mallon made a statement saying that the local UDR were indeed the loyalist paramilitaries uh, in disguise. Now, I have it here in black and white. I got a letter for my father and for my uncle specifically about their involvement. And the states in that letter that my father was an innocent man he had no involvement with any organisation whatsoever outside of the Ulster Defence Regiment. He was an innocent man and it states clearly in the, in the letter that he had no involvement because they have no evidence, no intelligence, no nothing. Now we're working on other families uh, as well, other UDR men. Because this is what we want. We want these UDR men's names cleared. Because the IRA have justified the butchery of UDR men while they're out doing a day's work. While they're out farming or out working on the roads or whatever. Very few UDR men were ever killed while they had the uniform on. But the IRA justified their brutal killings. One man in particular that... They hung upside down from a tree after st stabbing him 57 times and cutting his throat. But were they content with that? No. They booby trapped his body while they hung it from the tree. Now, they tried to justify that by saying he was a loyalist paramilitary. We're now starting one by one to get these letters to clear these men's names one by one and any family that wants help any UDR family I don't care what part of the world they're from if you come to us and we can we will help you now we have no money we have no nothing uh, but we'll do what we can to help you and this is the sort of thing that we do and you will have a certificate because that's basically what this is a certificate saying that your loved one was simply out serving and defending the community. And people have sat back and allowed them to be demonised and crucified by a Republican propaganda machine. Well, no more. And the people who's got the stuff on the internet about my father, what he's going to say now? So I go back again to why these letters are so important to do with my father and my uncles and other men who served for them within the border regions, who put their lives on the line to defend Ulster. And what thanks did they get? The very families that were left behind who are suffering. The Republicans used OFM, DFM to attack us again. Did anybody stand up to defend us? No.